Well, good morning, guys. Um, I slept absolutely brilliantly last night. I, I got a little bit of footage. I actually forgot to um, <clears throat> shoot some footage of us setting up our swags, as I promised. But I got some this morning um, of how I usually get it set up. But um, about to knock up some breakfast. Got the old bacon, tomato, and uh, mushroom. Going to make just a little bit of an omelet, I think. Nice and easy. Add a bit of cheese in there. Um, and then the plan for today, I'll let you know when we are um, moving off. It's a beautiful still morning compared to last night. Last night was absolutely freaking blowing a gale down at the um, the mouth there. But then you tuck into a nice spot like this. That's a beautiful thing about that um, this river system. There's always all of these little pockets that you can pull into and sort of you know get reprieved from the wind. So we just yeah pulled up onto a mooring. Um, I'll make it up now. Um, I'll probably end up doing that this afternoon for sleeping and. I slept so bloody well, I'll be honest. Um, it was a nice still night, uh, especially back here. During the night, it, it calmed right down. So I'm going to get this brekkie going because I think I need something in my belly. And um, Jamie's decided to jump on. I, I, I made sure I had enough for him. Um, he usually doesn't eat breakfast. So, and he, he's, he might be, what, why are you keen to, uh, did I guilt you into having some? Yes. Yeah, thought so. What's wrong, mate? What happened? I just don't know how much I trust these other mounts to be on here. Oh, I know what you mean. And I wanna I wanna I wanna rig it up because I wanna get a shot from here. You order the uh, scrambled. You don't have to tie up. I can. Um, I can just give it to you on your plate if you want, or if you want to, because the fenders are ready to go, man. Whatever you want to do. Here you go. Not the uh, nicest looking omelet, but it's going to be tasty, mate. I can promise you that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Looks like I've just regurgitated that, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, but I yeah. promise you, it'll be good, mate. Like a baby bird. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just use my plates too. Yeah, oh, yeah they're right here. Look, <laughs> I just got my plates out, but anyway. Yeah, <laughs> are they? What are you um? What are you thinking of that box? So, do you want to just use the paper ones, man? Just use paper. Oh, ones. go on then. We'll, we'll yeah, my man. Oh shit! Cheers. <laughs> I was oh, expecting shoot. that much. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. We'll get into this, then we'll probably start heading down. Check out this sandbar. Hopefully, it's exposed again like it was yesterday. Um, and I'll let you know of our loose plans today because I don't even think we know so much yet. It's nice. It's a nice feeling. Right, all packed up. Um, <clears throat> I find the more that I own this boat, I'm finding I, I'm getting more efficient at managing the space. Um, I'll tell you what, I was actually thinking of bringing um, my, I, I don't know if you've watched the, uh, if you go back and have a look at my draw build series that I built for the Forby, I use those front runner boxes. I think they're an incredible product and I was thinking of bringing one and throwing it under there, but uh, of course, you know, it probably doesn't fit this application so well just because those bags, those canvas bags, um, I, I want to talk to you about them later on. I'm, I'm freaking stoked with them. Um, I've got an opportunity to work with a, a small um, canvas company and I, I, I really like the cut of his bloody jib. Um, really nice bloke, but but definitely, definitely always go for the soft bags, I reckon, o only because they sort of mould to the shape of the boat, which is really handy. So just all these little 
uh, things that I've found out sort of the hard way. I used to bring like a hard box, you know, like um, hard cases and stuff like that and throw them under there. But soft, soft is the way to go because uh, you can really cram it up in there. But I don't know. I, I've spoken to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, saying those words, shocking. Um, I was speaking to Jamie yesterday. Um, he's got that little bit more deck room there um, than I have. Uh, the uh, what, what do you think, Jamie, on your first night? Any downsides, dude? No, not at all. I've, no? Yeah, I've got plenty of room, man. Yeah. I only run a small swag. Yeah, so that's I've, a handy swag, the biker, right? Eh? Yeah, and I haven't even folded that up tight, but that's got a blanket and a pillow in it. Yeah, that's mint. Yeah, so I've got plenty of room here. It takes one seat out. Um, yeah, and they just drop out. They sit flush. Yeah, yeah, because it's funny. You know, you think that that bench there would be a hindrance to sleeping, but it absolutely is not. You've got that. You know, even though Jamie's is a uh, what's yours? Four point five. Yeah, I think paperwork says four point. Yeah, four four nine. Mine's a four three five. And you actually, I was saying to Jamie yesterday, you can actually notice the height. Uh, the all the different dimensions, especially in only, you know, 150 mil, you can notice the height, you can notice the beam width, you can absolutely notice the stability. So I think for someone my size, I either want to go to something like that, or I want to go to like a five meter, because Dan, one of the blokes that actually come on another trip on this river with us, Dan, mate, looking forward to catching up with you, um, you guys. But um, he has a five meter, and it's just that un another level up where it's just, you know, I even someone my size, I can walk to that side of the boat and it sort of won't even move. But um, this one here, you have to sort of <laughs> really stabilise yourself. But I like looking at other people's setups and sort of just seeing how they rig their stuff up. I mean, what have you done for your sleeping there? Because obviously, you know, you don't want to take that seat out because it's flotation and shit like that. But that length from there to there can only just fit you. But what have you done there? Knocked up that... Um, so just like a, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, just a little step out little of line. A little pallet, yeah. Yeah, just to feel the foot well. Yeah, and, and that then, worked perfectly, dude? Yeah, so that cushion comes off, sits on that in the swag. I mean, I'm 6'1". Yep. No drums at all. No worries at all? Yeah, beautiful. See, that's good. Yeah, that, and where, where did you stow your seat, dude? This one? Yeah. Oh, man, I just sat it to the side here. Yeah. I moved that box to the side, so all weight was on one side. And yep. My, uh, my mass come down this side of it and it'd be yeah, balanced out oh, beautiful. everything i've got on board is either in this black box yep uh or the camera gear is in their wet sack yeah the beauty so you've thrown an audi bike yeah audi yep so you, he's thrown obviously all his soft stuff up uh, uh stuff up the front yeah um and then he's got a hard case down here sort of similar to my esky setup he's got the same esky over there that's good and that motor, that motor's not... I'll do a prop... Oh, no, I'm not going to pro promise a run through because I never do it. I might as well do it while I'm here. That motor, that's that's not the original on this boat, right? No, so when I bought it, the motor, <coughs> uh, he just put this motor on. So it's a brand new motor. Yeah, so literally, I think we calculated there'd be like 20... Yeah, 20 hours. Maybe just over 20 hours. Runs beautifully too. Yep. Nearly as good as the old Yummy there. I've mm. just hit 400 hours on that, just Pro on this trip, eh? Probably a touch better than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right, guys. Look, we're gonna um, let's 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 hit the road. Yeah, man. Yamaha. that time gotta do it especially me as red as I bloody get look at this morning look at this weather unbelievable Hopefully that sandbar is actually um, exposed this time. I'd love to show you guys um, what it looks like and get a better shot. Um, the wind's not gonna, well, yesterday I wouldn't have dreamed of doing it because that wind would have just taken the, um, the drone out. So this morning that wind's not too bad at all. Um, and today, I think one of the main things that I wanna check, it's not much, not, um, 
not too much planned today, just nice and chill. I've got a couple of other videos that I want to shoot for the channel. Um, but I've never been uh, on the uh, behind M Malloy Island and I noticed there's a couple of entrances. So I want to check that out first and foremost after having a look at this sandbar and stuff and show Jamie around. So, And then once it gets to double digits, it's beer time. beauty so i'm bloody stoked that there's a tiny there was heaps more yesterday as um if you watched um either the last part of this or if you watched um earlier in this video there, there was heaps more um heaps more islands showing here heaps more sandbars. it's absolutely beautiful i mean do you know what i'm so glad i have a drone for that just it looks so awesome from above um and also Big bonus. I love how shit shit like that happens on these trips. We saw a pod, a little little family or pod of dolphins, just playing around, having fun. Though I um, once I actually did put the, um, it was actually before I put the drone up. They're like coming. They were really pretty close to the boat at one point, eh, Jamie? Yeah. They were sort of like twenty meters in front of us. Yeah, in fact, yeah. I yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't want to bloody scare them or anything with the drone or anything, but they were playful as they obviously see boats all the time through here. So, as you can see, it's a wicked little channel. That channel's probably only, honestly, 15, 20 metres wide. So much fun to drive down, though. Oh, I love it. It's actually nice also to get on land, so... Beautiful. Absolute beautiful. All right, I'm going to enjoy this a little bit, um, and we'll see you pretty soon. Now, I've just literally noticed on the maps there, I've never sort of looked too deeply into it. I thought that there would just be an island and for some reason, I don't know whether my uh, HEMA is updated or something like that. It looks like there's a whole area behind M Malloy Island and then a river offshoot that comes off of it, which opens up like the whole day for exploring down this river because it looks quite wide. I'll find out what the river's called um, and I'll let you know. But I love that. I, I, I literally stopped the boat and said to Joey, I said, yeah, dude, we're going to go and check out this um, 
this uh, the, the river that goes off. So let's see how that goes, and we might even have a bit of a fish while we're in here. So this part here, that's Malloy Island. Um, so that's Malloy Island right there. What we usually do is go up there, and there's another entrance to go that way, which I've found. But along here, I don't know how we'll go here because it looks quite shallow on the maps. Um, but we'll just sort of have to suck it and see. So we're heading over there now, which is on the um, opposite side. Worst case scenario, if it gets too shallow here, we'll head that way, no worries at all. So Jamie's saying that it sort of is separated by a sandbar here. Uh, we can't see the sandbar, we're not close enough, but on my maps it's sort of showing that you can still get through, but uh, I've, I'm probably wrong, but I've, I can't leave here without at least checking that out. But again, worst case scenario, we um, pop around and go the other side, but um, I've got it on shallow drive at the moment, so it should, should be okay. I've got the motor trimmed up a fair bit. You gotta try, eh? sort of showing that around the edge uh, is like the darker water so I think that might be the way to go but watch me make a fool of myself <laughs> see Jamie might struggle to come through here yeah it's pretty shallow here Still moving, but I think this might be. Uh, I think this might be too shallow for me. I might just work over to there. Good thing is, <laughs> this is going to be about that deep, and it's still moving. All right, I think. Um, I think we'll go and have a look around the other side. Never mind. You're going to check these things. Yeah, because it looks like it continues around the corner there, but um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a lot wider than I thought. Sun's popping out. The freaking, I'm not even much into birds, but the freaking bird life is so alive around here. Tomo would have loved it. Nice and wide, it's, it's deep as well, um, so that's good. Let's see where this goes. This is going to be bloody awesome. Um, Nine o'clock, so I reckon cruise down here for a couple of hours, have lunch here somewhere. I've got some awesome um, lunch, awesome lunch cook up um, for today. And dinner, dinner's gonna be um, something special, I reckon. Oh, it's nice, it's so nice, that little bit of breeze keeping the flies away. Look out back here, have a look. Just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Hey? Eh? I can just see rocks. Really? Yeah. It's shallow enough, but I don't know how far my motor's taking compared to yours. I already picked one. I might have a quick look. Oh yeah, it does get a bit shallow. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's still shallow. I can see the boulder. That's a nice boulder. Oh, nerve. That's nerve-wracking. Oh, shit. I'm going to hit something. Oh. Oh, I don't like playing with rocks. Real rocky section here. Seems to get. Oh, must just be that bit there. Gets deeper over here, Jamie. Right, Oof, yeah, got through that. Thank God. <laughs> Nah, just tilt your motor right up and sort of stick to the centre. You'll see, you'll get really nervous. Your butt will clench, but um, it's uh, it's only for about 10, 15 metres. That's nerve wracking, eh? That is shallow. <laughs> Not even nice shallow. 
That's lost your hole on a rock shallow. <laughs> that is a, that's hole in the hole shallow. Dude, look how much, look how much prop I got in. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Good to know. Money off over it. <laughs> Jamie's um, trying to navigate that real rocky section. That second one there, that's even worse than the first one. Um, I said, nah, come on, come come through, mate. Um, it gets super deep here. Then I've just run into this. <laughs> Another rocky section. I think the water level's super low. But I tell you what, man, imagine coming through here and you can't see the bottom and just your prop hitting it. Nah, we're not getting past here, sadly. Yeah, that's too low. Yeah, we're done here anyway, man. This is as far as we can go. Oh, bugger, we sort of maybe got about five, six Ks in, I reckon. Spewing, if that um, water height was, um, if that water level was a lot higher, you'd be able to get through there, you know? Bugger. <laughs> oh, well, so much fun navigating it, though. I must be on it. And quite tense, quite tense, but... So, you know, real slow, you can't do too much damage, I guess. So there we go. <laughs> Just jinx myself, probably. God, if that water level was a bit higher, you'd be able to go through there um, with shallow drive. Beautiful, though. Beautiful scenery. There's a little um, camp spot here with, like, a little boat ramp. Might have to, I'll tell you what I might do. I might come back here in winter. Or, like, you know, once we've had a fair bit of rain and see how I go then, do another tinny trip then. Through. Yeah, a few of the big ones are just there. Oh, here you go. So I'm just going to let it blow me over this way a bit. I'll, hopefully, you, hopefully you can see them. Oh, so nervous. Okay, a bit deeper here. Beautiful. Thank God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that would have been a tense moment for Jamie, I'll tell you. Oh, shit. Oh, thought I was out of the uh, woods there. All right. Got through. <laughs> oh. Right, we, we got through the hairy sections. Um, <laughs> on the way in, um, Jamie goes, oh, there's a log there, watch out. And he's just noticed they were rocks. So, he, you hit something lightly, didn't you? Nah. <laughs> you look impressed, eh? Oh, I just, you know. Um, he's going to pull up beside. We'll have a look at the, um, at his fin. I don't, I don't reckon. Well, that's, it could have paid for itself, dude, you know? Go. Oh, he's going to. Yeah, go on, just tip her up. He might have to turn her off. Keep going. No, nah, dude, I think you're good. I think there's a few scratches there. Is that as far as it tilts? Nah, sweet as. A few little scratches? I think you just touched that bottom thing. Yeah, good. Well, that's what it's for, man. Yeah, there's a few scratches on the little... Did you buy that or did um, old mate have it on there nah, already? it was all done there. It was all set yeah. up for me. I'm going to... Um, Kip got one, so I might have to grab one myself, I think. You had one, don't you? But it's all worn down. Nah, no, oh, no. The fin. Obviously, when I got the boat, there, there was a big. There's a big chunk in the uh, out of the fin on the prop thing. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you had like a little. Oh, let's get some lunch going, eh? Yeah. What we'll do you go want to anchor up? up somewhere, maybe somewhere more open, so it's a bit more windy. <laughs> Blow them flies away, you know. Watch yourself. You watch yourself. Last time you reached out, I ain't read the message Leave it a comma to respond when you least expect it Everything I said, I felt the need to mention When facts seem offensive, it's hard to ease attention I'm just thinking out loud and think about how The vibe changed quicker than a million miles an hour I felt bad for whatever I said, but whatever's dead I hope I see you never it again could've been me in the soup, but you had your cake and you eat in the two Fuck you, never thought you'd go back on your word Broken promises, send me back
All right, we made it. Uh, probably in good time, Jamie. Like you say, that tide was... So we're at the bottom of the tide. Uh, yeah. And it got a bit sketchy as we left, like as we were sort of going through the same shallow channel. It was much, much shallower than um, when we sort of left. It must, must have been real quick. Because um, there were spots where we went through with, you know, full, full leg down. And then on the way back, it was full shallow drive most of the time. So we got out of there, pulled up here just for a quick lunch. Wanted to do a nice lunch. I wanted to show you what we're doing. So this here, Davo, cutting edge, my man, always hooking us up. This is a, um, these are schnitzels with the, um, the Shanghai uh, chicken seasoning on it, like the, um, the crumb on it. My favorite product from him, eh, that Shanghai um, crumb. I, ho I wonder if he, he sells that like separately. If not, I wanna, I'm gonna beg him to, but um, I'll cook these up. They're like little, um, uh, like fried chicken, coleslaw in a brioche bun, get her done. Oh, that rhymed, awesome. Um, got the old cooker ready to go. I'll piss that fuel off. Um, See how she goes in the wind. I think we'll be alright. It's not blowing that hard. But um, it's more the boats coming past. So when the boats come past, we get rocked about. <laughs> so I'm going to have to hold the cooker. See how we go. This will be fun. Fun, fun. Sizzling away. God damn, I love that crumb, eh? The handy thing about Davo, and shout out to you, Davo and Mel, um, they they cryovac all the meat for me. It makes it, it makes it super convenient because, especially on a tinny trip, you can slide it in between, you know, the bottles or whatever in um, in the esky. So it makes it real handy, and it keeps for longer too, which is bloody good. So keep sizzling this away. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> Open the door. Okay, let's put that there. And <laughs> these flies are begging for it, eh? Yeah, I know, dude. I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm hurrying it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh there's yours. <laughs> Mine came out first, I said. Do you want me to um, slice these up so they fit better? Yeah, probably can, eh? Double them up. Oh, no. Are you okay. No? Um, no, absolutely, dude. No stress. Not being smart. Did you grab the? Oh god! I would never accuse you of being smart. <laughs> oh, we laugh. All right, meat on. This turned out good, dude. Dude, this it, um, just it yeah. actually has. Like I said, I don't normally, I don't normally eat on boats, but as far as I can, this is probably going to be the best meal I've had so far. Yeah, actually, last well, night was pretty good. Oh, last night was good. Copious amounts of alcohol. Again, meat provided by Old Davo. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. Snowy. That it is it. <laughs> He loves that now. Does he? Yeah, we're going to talk about that story in the potty, eh? Is that it, is it? <laughs> that it, is it? Snowy. Beautiful, mate. Throw it on. Uh, oh, I'll throw, throw a bit of this on, you reckon, first? No, go on top. Yeah, you're only halfway through. Watch out, flies. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm going to lose one. Go on, you eat that. Got enough. <laughs> Go on, grab a bit. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, here comes some bites too, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. <laughs> That'll do for coals, what do you reckon? Yep, in my boat. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna lose it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Snowy. Cheers, Pete. That is it. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. That's turned out good. Real good, man. You know what? Better than I was there. I'm gonna sort of change my mind a little bit with these cookers. Um, I never thought they could sort of get hot to, well, I'll, I'll definitely know tonight whether they can sear a steak, but I reckon I'm changing my mind a bit. You have to sort of have a fresh can and the conditions have to be pretty good, but God damn, it's powerful after that. That's beautiful. That was so surprisingly good, dude. I enjoyed the hell out of that burger. I'm yeah, sorry, I <laughs> got him. He's having some of my bloody um, gorgeous wife's delicious rocky road, dude. Mm. Unreal. Shares well done, bub. Um, glad she only gave us one piece each a day. That's good. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be having more. Um, <laughs> You sing new people. Yeah. You're just gonna sing to the people now. <laughs> so you now. <laughs>
now for the next hour, it's karaoke. <laughs> karaoke all the way back to the uh, camp. So now, guys, uh, we're going to find a camp. Um, there's a nice little spot I know last time we stayed that we're going to pull up on the corner there. It's nice and protected. Uh, and we'll just have an Arvo worth of beers, I think. And speaking of the devil, cheers, shelter. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Nice after a burger, that is. Well, guys, welcome to uh, dinner time. Now, I wanted to sort of film this as a little bit of a late... This whole trip has uh, been like a, a very, very laid-back trip, as I said earlier in the trip. As I said earlier in the video, that it's like a, it's like a knock-off for Christmas trip. So... We're going to cook dinner together, leave it all sort of raw or, um, and unedited, uh, you know, to a certain extent. So tonight for dinner, trying something else, uh, trying something else out that I've never tried. And on a cooker, I want to, I hope that this cooker does it the way that I want to. So we're doing chimichurri on flank steaks. So I've got some flank steaks here from um, Cutting Edge. Dave, oh, legend, thank you for doing that. And I got Jamie over here processing some veggies and I wanted to have a, a talk to him while I was doing this and sort of explain you what we're putting in the sauce and also how good this cooker goes and stuff like that. But I wanted to also ask Jamie how it was for his first tinny trip. So how are you brother? How good, are you man. Going? Good, good, good. Um, yeah, trying to focus on not going over nah, and not, and not and cutting and your fingers, fingers and all that. Give that a snip for us, will you? Right, yeah. yeah, lovely. Thanks mate. Um, so these steaks are obviously rolled up and stuff like that, so I'm just going to hit it, a little bit of olive oil in the pan and then hit it with a heap of salt. Um, and then the chimichurri sauce should really sort the rest of that out. Now I'm leaving the chimichurri sauce up to Jamie. Oh, Jesus. Um, that a come apart. Great. <laughs> and I'll just get this steak dried up. I'm nearly cut my finger already. Have you? How much is this you want, bud? Have <laughs> you actually? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, good. so just like a nice big bunch, dude. Like that? Look at that. Look at that flank steak. Like that, man? Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Just get the old hands washed. Oh, they're good. They love it! <laughs> So the idea of this flank steak and the chimichurri is that you're meant to sort of sear it as quick as you can because it actually is naturally a thin piece of steak from what I can learn. But Jamie, um, I've got Jamie doing the chimichurri, but you've never sort of done that before. Not at all. What, and I'm leaving it up to him to sort of taste it and see see what you think of it all. Have you, you've never done anything like this? You're a bit of a barbecue guy though, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't normally do the salad nah, or, the, I know or, the, or the sauces or anything like that. Yeah, I, I cook yeah. the meat, mate. I'm low and slow. Um, <laughs> that's so yeah, it. I'm over my head here, mate. So. Nah, that's all right. It's good to try. So, um, it, it's, so I'm pretty sure what chimichurri consists of is parsley, coriander, shallot, garlic, red chili, um, I'm, I'm going to put a bit of lime in it because I like that zestiness and a bit of olive oil and basically just put that over a nice cooked steak Bloody and off you go. That wind's coming up. Yeah, of course it bloody is. But dude, what, what do you think? <laughs> That's why I got you onto that. <laughs> dude, it sucks. Now, how was your first um, your, your first tinny trip, brother? Beautiful, mate. Frothed it. Okay, um, now, first question, honestly, always is, what did you wish you had? Would you forget? All that bullshit. Bait. Wish, bait, wish, yeah, wish bait we had a stop for some bait. Um, you didn't really bait. The fish would have definitely been on the tube for sure. Yeah. Um, apart, from, <laughs> apart from that, I'm pretty happy. Are you? Yeah. Man, it's 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 good to go. Yeah, it's good. So Jamie's actually coming on the Everyman Chats podcast just for a bit of a Christmas series because he he lives quite close to me. It's easy for him to um, drop in and we can, you know, have a real good bloody laugh. Um, on the potty, you know, it's easy to record, easy to easy to edit and stuff like that. So, um, he's he's one of the funniest blokes I know. But on video, I want to get his I want to get his personality out. That's the main thing I want to do. So, um, what about? No, well, come on, tell me more. Like, as in, know. is there anything that you didn't need that you thought you you you, you would? Um. Man, I have 
you always bring extra for camping and then don't need it. Yeah. I actually felt very naked on this trip. Yeah, gotcha. As I in, when on the boat, I'm like, oh, I don't need too much, you know, what am I going to bring? Um, Etc. But, um... I think I've used everything. I mean, I've been lucky enough that you've supplied, you and Davo, of course. Yeah, but they're actually... The meat. Yeah. You've done most of the cooking. There wasn't that much, though, surprisingly. No, it's just two dudes having a good time, isn't it? You don't need much. <laughs> oh, and you would have seen, actually, guys, you would have seen from this um, trip... We got the shot that sort of got the shot that we were after. It was the funniest shot I've ever done. We were laughing a bit uh, about it in the morning when we were doing um, when we were doing brekkie. Shit, dude, it was a bloody good laugh. I'll just put a bit of that in there just to weigh it down, wet it up. You did a great job there, buddy. Thanks, mate. Encouragement's always uh, <laughs> appreciated. Welcome and welcome. <laughs> welcome, yeah. Uh, you want more of that? I reckon you're not far off, man, because by the time you add coriander, garlic, lime juice, yeah. chili. So you know, you know what they say about the old chili, mate. What do they say about? Don't the chili? touch the old fella. Don't touch the old fella once you finish cutting chili, eh? You know what else, man? Is that when you're camping on a boat, there's actually no toilet. Oh, oh, you talk about that? <laughs> do you talk about that? I got nothing to say. It sort of is that. It sort of is like um, that's the biggest challenge that you get with the old tinny trips, is um, is. Going to the shitter. Like honestly, you got to find places to sort of pull up. But when they're quite dense, like some of the rivers that we have been on, it's hard to to sort of <laughs> find a, a place to you know do number two, do a juice. Oh, look at that cutting technique. Bloody I'm hell. actually hoping the camera can't uh, see what I'm cutting. Oh, I'll we'll find a way. I'll find a way. But that platform on the back, dude, I find that's the uh, that works well. <laughs> That's about all I'm going to say about that, actually. For the toilet? While we're cooking dinner, yeah. Until the tide uh, grabs you and swings you around and your neighbouring vessels get to see uh, <laughs> full frontal, full yeah. frontal whacker. <laughs> yep, that's a bad thing. You lose fans that way. You lose uh, Gain you lose a few. followers. Those Gain oldies seem impressed. Yeah. <laughs> the old upside down pineapple crew. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking forward to this podcast because we can have a good laugh about that. Um, there's a, we've got a, f a heap of topics um, worked out and I'd like to do that with a heap of other members in the crew. I know I've, um, in the podcast in the past, I've actually sort of wanted to show you guys exactly what I, um, what I see these guys as, but also there's a lot of things that I've learnt as well about them, but I also want to have each dude back on a regular basis also just for shooting the shit and having a good laugh, you know, so um, I really, I'm really looking forward to that. See, the only thing I'm worried about with this is it not getting hot enough. Do you want to stuff that back in the, uh, uh, what do you need now in your chimichurri? Uh, so have you got gar you got olive oil in there, I'll give you a bit more olive oil. You need garlic. How much you want of that, buddy? Um, it's just so it's saucy, man. So you got yeah, gotcha. and there's red wine vinegar too. So we got that. How much of this you put in? You know, a fair bit of this, eh? Uh, I'd say like a, a good tablespoon. So it's going to be enough for sort of two steaks. Oh, well, you know, have a look at that. The size of that's quite big, you know. Oh yeah, keep the old <laughs> keep the old zombies away, mate. Vampires. Yeah, vampires, that's what it is. How embarrassing, What eh? a nerd. What a nerd. <laughs> uh, what have you got to stir this bad boy with, mate? Uh, I've got a fork for you. That's what that colour do. I think you can go wrong. Yeah, but I, I'm with I'm worried that this is not going to get hot enough. No, with the old chimichurri. Oh yeah, it's all good stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's it is. Isn't of, it? There's probably a bunch of chefs out there saying what the. What are these jokers? What, what the f bomb doing? is going on here? But uh, <laughs> we're just a couple of dudes uh, trying to make a feed on a boat. So. Yeah. Oh, right shield. You got salt on that? Yeah, butt loads. You saw that, did you? Is that a metric measurement? <laughs> no. Butt loads. So, dude, I wanted you. Have you put salt in that as well? I'll put a little bit. I put so, I wanted you to try it and see what you think. See if you can actually identify if it needs more of anything. Uh, probably more dicing, more, more knife work. Better? <laughs> Just more and better knife Just work? Probably better. <laughs> probably need somebody that knows what they're doing. <laughs> We've got a um, strong wind coming in 
from that way so I've got to these are pretty bad with wind um, wind protection I'll tell you what the best cooker I reckon a lot of you guys will agree is the um, those fire knights dude the Coleman fire knights they're unbelievable that would have been perfect I was tossing up whether to bring that you know how um, is dude uh, I'm very yeah. interested to know uh, as in chili or just um, flavors? flavors just punchy Quantities. No, I thought you know we could. You know, I know you're winging it. You expect me to be be prepared? <laughs> Looks good, dude. Like the colours in that look really good. I'm sure that'll make everything perfect. <laughs> yeah, it will. Great colour. Because I don't think this is going to get hot enough. I wanted to show you guys though that this might be a failure. That fire night would have would have pissed all over that. Fire night. You know the fire nights, the Coleman, the ones that go woo when you put a pan on? No. No. Oh yeah, that's it. I can smell it now. Yeah? Yeah, it's not good. Oh, that smells real good. Oh yeah, I can smell that vinegar now. Strong. Is it? I think it's gonna be good. A little bit of chili. Oh, it's so, oh, do you know that'd be good off? Tacos. Yeah. Fish tacos. Lacking anything? You want anything more in it? No, I think that's pretty good, man. Yeah, I'd like to try that on, uh, on steak. No, that's yeah. delicious, dude. Right, right. Just put this down where it's not going to go. I think you're good to go. All right, so. Just pack that up chili we could probably throw off. And just throw everything here. I'll sort it out on my You end. want that? Put it in the ducks. Can you? Yum, chili for the ducks. Well, I'll get a bit of colour, but it needs to be on there quick, so I don't know. It's actually quite thick, dude. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to keep cooking this um, this steak here. Then we'll get back to you when she's finished and let you know how we go, because I don't know how this is going to go with the wind, and especially I just wanted to test how this uh, this went. Anyway, get you up, uh, update you in a minute. Um, now, first impressions. Sort of got the colour on there, but it needs more heat, dude. Needs a heat more heat. Uh, let's put that there. Now, the important thing that I've read about uh, ch um, flank steaks is that all the fibres, um, well, you, they're very clear. All the fibres run that way, and you should cut it against the fibre. So, Beautiful. oh, okay. Not too bad. For that cooker, dude, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the only thing I'm thinking to myself, Jamie, is you need that intense heat, dude, like straight away. And Jamie, Jamie was saying that maybe don't rest it for some reason. Oh, I just don't think you need to. It's, yeah. a, it's not thick. Oh, let's go. Here. We'll get some bloody paper towel for you. Yeah, right. Oh, let's go. Here we go. Sorry, brother. Good, good. You know, it didn't do too bad, but I, I think the thing that I've learned, I reckon it needs that intense grill heat. Intense, like hot as hell. Uh, but I think for what that is, honestly, it's a butane burner for shit's sake. So let's see how this goes. Oh, look at him fanning it out. Throw a bit of chimney on the top, my man. But chimney and I want you to try it first. Oh, dude. Let's just get that under there first. Oh yeah, look at you putting the corner over so it drips all over my bike. Yeah, you cheeky devil. I just wanted to drip off the back. Yeah, nah, good call. Yeah, if we can get that around. It's, it's ruining my life right now. <laughs> it's just all pouring down the back of the bike. We'll sort that. We'll put um, wet wipes, dude. We'll get wet wipes all over it. Anywho. Anywho. So we're going to... Bunch that all over it. Over the whole thing, dude, paste it on. You know, I just wanted to see whether that could produce like a hot, hot steak. I, I did let it heat up for like maybe five minutes beforehand, and I think that was the hottest it was going to get. 
Um, but dude, I'm pretty happy with that for a, you know, for a freaking butane burner. Go on, brother. Let's go, man. Get into it, mate. Let's do it. Thanks for your help, brother. Thank oh, you. nice. Um, first thing I'm gonna say, it's very tender. Oh my god, that's um, how good, dude. What do you think? Anything you'd change, honestly, man? No. Would you? Would you? Dude, I'd lock up to... on a chin in the middle of the river. I know. Cook a feed like that. Yeah. I ain't changing shit. Ah, well said. Well said. Well, dude, thank you for helping me do that. Now, guys, please keep an eye out on the uh, Everyman Chats podcast. Jamie's coming on this week, and I got. I'm really excited to announce I've edited and um, uh, edited and uploaded, but it's ready for release next year. One, one of the my most inspiring and biggest guests there are. Um, I'm really excited to do it. Got some wicked guys as well um, lined up, so really looking forward to it. We're going to smash into this while it's fresh. And I might have a talk to you guys about it um, tomorrow or afterwards. I'll probably see you just before bed. I'll try and do, it, it depends how the weather's going to go, I'll try and do a, um, show you all the sleep setup and stuff like that. So let's do it, mate. Thanks for your help, brother. Mm. We'll see you soon on the bloody everyman chat. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Well, good morning, guys. Another beautiful sleep last night. The wind was right up, and the um, the water height has really jumped up, which is good. So we've really not got a um, a big drive back to the boat ramp. It's five o'clock now, so the old sun's up nice and early, or coming up, and I think we're leaving at the right time. There looks to be a few clouds out the back there, so we've got a tiny little drive back to the boat ramp, and that'll be it. Throw all the boats on the trails, and off we go. And I've got to quickly show you guys at the boat ramp if there's any water that's come out the back. I don't feel like there will, I'm quite confident. But firstly, let me say to you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope you guys have or have had the best Christmas with your families and you've stayed safe. Um, I appreciate all the views, all the uh, support this year. It means means the bloody world to me. Got some exciting things happen next year and I, that I can't wait to show you guys. If you, um, if you feel like commenting, I'd love for you to throw a comment below or a like or a subscribe, whatever you know, whatever you feel like doing. But mainly, you just guys enjoy yourself and have a safe holidays, okay? See you next year. Can't bloody wait. Every Man Chats podcast, get on there and have a bloody listen. Or if you feel like becoming a Patreon, heaps of extra content. We do a heap of extra camp outs. Have a wicked New Year's, guys. See you soon. Okay, before I let you go, moment of truth. I've got her on an angle. Let's see how we go. Now, I should expect like a little bit, a tiny bit, just because we went through some splashy water. <laughs> you wanna film mine? Yeah, dude. Now, that was it. That was pretty much it. She's dropping off to basically nothing now. Stoked. That's just, that was more for me than it was for you guys. Let's see Jamie's. Now, what are you expecting? Uh, leaves, bark, um, nails, human flesh. It won't stop. <laughs> That's my water tank. I've got a theory. When you're smashing along, that transducer is spitting up a heap of water, and it's actually sort of going back a yeah. little bit, a little bit back. Well, I noticed in. that a lot of the stuff is getting wet, so it's obviously it's coming around. Nothing. Something, oh yeah. yeah. You were saying, oh, you you want to fill it full of water and just test it, test the, <coughs> uh, yeah, bilge. or even even um, the bungs could always use a re-silicon, I reckon. Yeah, that's what I also sort of mine that do. The O-rings on these uh, bungs are oh right, a bit uh, old. Oh, it's not too bad, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nothing to worry about. It's a beauty boat, brother. All right, guys. Well, that's it. See you in the next one.